Hello everyone, this is Fifi here, and welcome back to the Air Team channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build this Patriot AMV in 1.5 to 1 scale. The Patriot AMV, AMV standing for Army Motor Vehicle, is an 8x8 multi-role military vehicle designed by the Finnish company Patriot. It is a very popular military vehicle used by many nations across the world, and its popularity can be attributed to its highly modular design. As it is modular, it has thousands of configurations, but for the tutorial, I'll be showing you how to board this base variant with the machine gun turret. And of course, it does make use of our custom Air Team resource pack, but I will do my best to show you alternatives if you're using another resource pack, such as the default. And it does use a little bit of wall edit for detailing, but it's nothing major and it can be avoided. And then some general information about the board itself. It is 14 long, including buttons, six wide including buttons levers ladders etc and eight tall including this area to begin take another brick stair which of course is the black wall texture in our resource pack in default you can use dark oak or one of the blackstone variants or even netherrack as well uh, to, so to begin come to the front and to make the wheels place down two upwards facing stairs facing into each other like so and then repeat this once more like so, so that you have these two in a row, and then come back one more block, and repeat the same. So you should have this nine block long section in total with one block in the middle, and then to complete the wheels, you can place these stairs on the top again, but with orientation flipped, like so, to create the wheels. And then, if you come back to the front, Take a dark oak drop door, which has this grey diorite texture on resource pack. In default, you can use one of the brown wood textures, or you can use something like iron. So at the very front, place two facing into each other at the top of the block. Then skip a block, and repeat this two more times. And then extend this out so that there's five in total. One, two, three, four, five. Then skip one block, take a smooth stance and slab, and place down like so. Then in these blocks that you skipped out, place down a birch fence gate and open them facing towards these trapdoors like so. And then repeat the wheel process on the other side. So you create this circle shape with the walls of two next to each other. Skip a block and repeat. Then coming to the front, in front of these two great drop doors, take a detector rail and place two down like so. As you can see in our resource pack, these rails have a drop door texture. However, we do not want blue and we want the sandstone texture. So to get that, you have to activate these rails. So let me show you using a minecart. I place them down and place a minecart on it. You can see the turn to sandstone. So the, the way that we can permanently make them sandstone, if you're on Java, you can use a debug stick, so type slash give the username debug stick, and left click on the rail until it says selected power, and then right click to toggle between true and false, and of course we want it set to true because we want the sandstone texture. If you don't have the debug stick but you do have walled edit, you can place two rails facing east to west like so, place down a minecart on one of them, to power it and then take a wall that it replaced to so take any tool from the inventory type slash ripple zero while you're hovering over it left click on the rail oops left click on the rail place down the temporary block where you want the rail to be and then right click with your replace tool if you do not have wall that or the debug stick you could use a jungle trap tool and place two like so and if you're on default you can use a birch trap tool then lastly, coming to the back, take a jungle trapdoor and place on the edge of the sandstone slab on the right side of the vehicle. There is more detailing that needs to happen on layer 1, however that we will need layer 2 before we can add those details as they are mostly buttons sitting on the bottom of the block. To begin on layer 2, take a smooth sandstone block and place above these rails like so. And then skip this block and then place two more smooth sandstone blocks. Then skip another block, place 
sandstone uh, blocks like so and place them three long in this 2 by 2 Then take a smooth sandstone stair or just a sandstone stair in our resource pack and then place on the edge on either side like so and then at the rear skip one more block and place in line with these last wheel blocks then in these blocks that you skip to fold them in with sandstone walls like so and then on this very last block on the right side of the vehicle take your sandstone stair and place on the back of this wheel like so and on the left side take a grindstone this temporary block above here and place your grindstone like so then in the middle of these two blocks place two balls like so I'll show you how to get these in the correct block state later on on the side of this grindstone place a temporary block then take an oak button and with your replace tool from earlier just a reminder slash ripple zero click on this button destroy that right click with your replace tool on the temporary block on this stair on this side take an acacia button and repeat the same process with your replace tool and then if we come to the front over here we need to do a little bit of trickery with stairs so take your sandstone stairs and place two regular uh, upwards facing stairs like so on the front of these two sandstone blocks and then one corner on each and then as you can see on the base vehicle we have these two corner stairs facing into each other which is not possible in normal Minecraft, so we'll use World Edit or the Deepak Stick to do that. Or you can just place them like that, never mind. And then obviously on the bottom, as you can see, there are two buttons like so. So place down two temporary blocks on either side, and build up another temporary block so you can get this uh, birch button block state like so. Left click on that button to replace two and destroy those temporary blocks. Then right click on these two temporary blocks, blow the stairs. Right click with your replace tool and those will turn to buttons and as you can see on either side of the stairs as well there is an oak button so it's the same process as this button and this button place down a temporary block on the side of the stair an oak button on that destroy the oak button and right click on the stair and of course repeat on the other side lastly in the front you want to place two birch buttons on these two stairs in front so repeat yet again and replace these two temporary blocks like so so to work on layer 3 take a stone brick slab and place on these first corner blocks like so these are highlighting the headlights then in the middle between them take a smooth sandstone slab and place down like so then come back one block and place four stairs down like this to create a slope and then down the sides, take a smooth sandstone block and place in 10, 10 in a row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It should end on the last, uh, the last block of the vehicle, of course. And then you can fill in this entire section. Leaving the last block, take a sandstone wall and place like this. At the end of the tutorial, I'll show you how to fix these sandstone wall uh, block sets. Then if you come back five blocks from the front, you can take a ladder. So one, two, three, four, five. And repeat the ladder on the same side. And then if you go one block left, punch out that block and replace it with a cut sandstone slab. Uh, cut sandstone block, sorry. And then to work on the mirrors, take a lever and a stone button with your place oops. With your place tool, place a temporary block. Uh, on the side of the slabs then place your lever down and then the same process but with a lever instead of a button and then on the top of the lever we're going to place a stone button like so if you don't have wall that or anything you could use a skeleton skull like so And lastly on the black, on the back, uh, take a uh, birch button and an oak button. On the left side here, place an oak button and on the right side, place a birch button. To work on the top layer, come back one block from these stairs and fill in this entire section with smooth sandstone slabs. And 
leave on top of these walls. And then I will show you certain of these slabs need to be replaced. So if you skip one block from these walls, replace these two middle two with birch slabs. And then if you come to this one over here, just one in from the left corner, we're going to place a piston down. So there's two ways you can do this. The way that I have on the base vehicle, as you can see, is I just have the piston head. So I use this, uh, I got this by using the replace tool. So left click on the piston head, place a temporary block down here and then right click. If you do not have all edits, you could simply just place down your piston. Uh, place a powering source down first and then place your piston down like so. And then on the top of the piston, just to give it a nice bit of rounding, put down a birch trap door. And then to work on the machine gun turret, take a sandstone slab, come one block out and then one block in like so, and place in this shape like so. Not my mistake, you must go one half, uh, one block back like so, so that there's this half a block gap between the piston head and the stairs. So that is the base of the machine gun turret. And then if you come to this block at the back here, you want to place down a corner stair, like so. So left click that with your replace tool and right click in the slab like so. And then in the front over here, take a birch trap door and a grey bed. So on the left middle block over here, place down a birch trap door. And in the right one, I want to place down a bed. So if you have welded it and your replace tool, place down a temporary block there. Place down a grey bed facing towards the back of the vehicle. And then left click on the front of the block. And right click on the temporary block. And this uh, bed has this nice capillar shape because it looks like it has window frames. If you don't have a way to get the bed texture like that, you could simply just use a slab, probably cut sandstone, or if you want a little bit of depth, you can use a daylight sensor. And then finally, for some more detailing, place down two temporary blocks on the outer stairs like so, and place down a birch button, and with your replace tool, replace these two blocks like so. And then again, on these first two slabs, I'm going to place another birch button on the front, so place two temporary blocks, Place a birch button temporarily down in the correct block state and replace the temporary blocks. Then take two stone buttons and in line with these two birch uh, slabs, place down a stone button, the temporary block, and with your replace tool, replace once again. Now I'll show you how to fix these walls and how to finish up this little area here. So the first thing to do is HDB search sandstone this is a plugin in our server that lets us get, uh, get custom player skills if you don't have it the best option is to use a skeleton skull then take these two sandstone uh, skulls and place them on top of the walls like so oops that wall that uh, stair was damaged let me just replace it quick so as you can see these skulls help to try fill in this little gap here and then to smooth off these stairs, place this 3x2 like so, and then two more facing out in the front. And then left click this bottom middle one and replace all four of these stairs. And then if you want it to look even better, if you have the debug stick, you can left click through these walls until it says selected up, then right click to uh, set the up to false so that it has this nice smooth texture to it. And finally, to work on the top of the vehicle, if you take two iron bars and place above the stair like so, to create the aerial. And then to come work on the machine gun, place down a wall on this stair closest to the middle here. And then we want to place a birch gate on the back of it like so. And place a sandstone skull out to the side and a chain out in front of it to be the barrel. 
and then to make it look a bit cleaner once again we can use our place tool and the wall block states so simply place three walls like this in this arrow shape left click on that middle one at your place tool and then right click on this wall to complete it and on the side of it take your purge button place down the temporary block and then replace the temporary block with the birch button like so and then when you finish that machine gun this should be the entire ball complete so with the tutorial complete on behalf of myself and the entire error team i'd like to thank you for choosing our design of course you can use this in any project that you're working on as long as you do provide credit that is necessary as we put a lot of time and effort into creating these designs if you do finish this we'd obviously love to see it so feel free to post it in our discord or any other social medias that we have so thank you for watching and see you next time.